Good evening. Good evening. Do you have any message to your family and friends before we start the question? Thank you for supporting me here. Thank you. Love you all. Wow. And thank you so much for coming and gracing our event. Thank you so much for coming and gracing our event. Thank you so much for coming and gracing that things happen for a reason. What is the reason why you are here tonight? The reason why I am here tonight is because the world needs to know my advocacy. I am here to amplify it so the world can hear. And I am here because I am destined to get the crown. And I am ready. Thank you. Thank you so much for that amazing answer. No, I love the fact that I'm being a student right here with the answer. Okay, our next finalist from Lemony Batangas. That's from Batangas, right? Lemony is from Batangas. Okay. Well, you know, I've, I've observed that you're one of the candidates who has such amazing fans. I believe they're over here. There you go. Do you have any questions? Question. Sorry, do you have any message for the rally? I didn't expect that all of you guys are here in the middle. Sobrang layo, five hours travel, every two, binangon in Rizal, I love you all. Thank you. Okay, I see you already picked your question. Okay, your question for tonight is, for you, what is the true meaning of happiness? But ladies and gentlemen, at my young age, I witnessed the real world. That the world are not full of rainbows and cupcakes. I am an orphan child. Even though I face so many struggles in my life, I define happiness by saying, I am contented for what God gave to me. Yes, I face discrimination, judgment because of my gender identity. But not, but that's not a hindrance for me to stop from dreaming. Thank you. Let's have our next finalist from San Pablo City. Pero alam mo na mapapahaba pa niya konti. Pero kasi malulok siya. Good evening, Mr. San Pablo City. It's been a journey for you, right? From, uh, from the sashing moment up to the top 15 finalists. How do you feel right now? I'm so happy and also say, and also, I'm heartbroken because I'm almost five days. But I'm still fighting and I would like to thank you all to support me. Come on, let's give a round of applause for her. courage and bravery. We're still continuing to this competition. We really adore. And I would like to thank you to our organizers that have been able to do this. I don't know if you want to do this. Thank you so much. But I'm still happy. I give my thoughts and to all of you. Thank you so much. And to my ex-boyfriend. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey everyone, you please maintain or maintain total silence. Your question for tonight is, what is the biggest mistake in your life? Ang malaking pagkakamali ko sa aking buhay, ito ay hindi ko napatawad ang akin na mayapang ina. Na kung saan, humingi siya ng tawad sa akin dahil ako inabanto niya. Hindi minsan yung kaalaman ako po ay isang laking lola. Ako po ang bumubuhay sa lola ko. Kami na lang po ang nagmamahalan at nagtutulungan sa pang-araw-araw ng pamumuhay. Kaya kung may pinakapagkakamali ako dito sa mundong ibabaw, ito hindi ko napatawad ang aking ina bago siya pumanaw. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is San Pablo City for you, ladies and gentlemen.
we call on our next finalist from Atimona. Good evening as well, and how are you feeling? Um, and it was a force at the same time, it's a pleasure to be in the same time. It's our pleasure as well to have you as our appointment. Now are you ready for your question? I'm going to have Okay, let me now get your question from the roll. Your question for tonight is, it is 2024, if you have three wishes or resolutions, one for yourself, one for your community, and one for the world, what would they be and why? Once again, it is 2024, if you have three wishes or resolutions, one for yourself, one for your community, and one for the world, what would they be and why? Thank you, sir. In this time of era, 2024, the three wishes I first, I just want to spend more time with my family. Because in this kind of era, where gadgets and social media are the primary focus of people, I just want to have a quality time with my family, so I don't have a regret in the future. Second, second is for my community. I just want to remind all of you that we need to be united. Don't put the crap mentality in our own community. Let me remind you that abolition crop mentality typically requires the collective effort and patience. But by adapting a positive mindset and having a practicing supportive behavior in our community, one thing is for sure, we can have the better place to live in. Third is for, for the world. I just, my wish for the world is to have a universal education because we need to accept the fact that the education Let's move on to our next finalist from Los Banos Laguna. Good evening, Ms. Los Banos. Good evening. Are you ready for your question? Uh, ready. I see that you're very excited for this moment. Here we now pick your question from the book. The question for tonight is, we often say that a queen should wear her crown in her heart. Can you elaborate what this means to you? Okay. okay. Crown is the symbol of a queen. Mga kaibigan, ang crown po ay hindi mo pinuputong ng isang queen sa kanyang ulo dahil po ang mga tao na sa kakupan niya ay tumitingala dahil po ang queen ay hindi po tingala. Bagkos, ang queen po ay, ay nilalagay niya ang korona niya sa kanyang puso dahil ito po ay, ay ang katangian ng isang queen ito ay si ang pagkakapat ay at ang pagsisi sa, sa kanyang mga nasasakupan. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. Thank you so much as well for that amazing answer. Let's move on to our next finalist, Miss Jennifer Diaz. Do you have any message for your family and friends before we start the question and answer? I want to say thank you to my mom because she was so supportive for me and I really appreciate it because it's the first time that she supported a trans pageant. She was never a fan of this and I'm just so thankful that now she sees me as her beautiful child. Wow! Let's give a round of applause to mom. What an amazing parent, right? It's very rare to have those parents around. Anyway, are you ready for the question? Hmm? I'm nervous, but just oh. like what Miss Christina Bartolasa said, a beauty queen should always be prepared. Okay. Prepared as you are, please. Thank you, question. 
sa BRC si kami. The question for tonight is, what is the best religion in your own opinion no. and why? Once again, what is the best religion in your own opinion? I think that a lot of us, we have a lot of faith. We believe in something because we as Filipinos, we have in our hearts a connection to the divine beings above. But for me, I would like to bring this question and say that there is no best religion. Because I believe that all religions in the world is equal and fair. Because all religions in the world have love in the center. And because of this love, all people can unite and have religion in their center. And right now, I'm proud that I can say I'm also a Christian. And for all religions, I would just like to say, I respect you, I love you, not only as a neighbor, but also as a reflection of myself and as a creation of God. Thank you so much. Up next, let's have Miss Polilio Island. There she is. Good evening, Miss Polilio. Hi, good evening, host. And good evening to all the people who are here, especially my friends, my family. To all the Pilipinas and Pisotas, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. It's amazing that you have gratitude in your heart for them, right? And are you ready for your question for tonight? Of course, I'm more ready. You may now pick your question from the book. Your question for tonight is, what is one thing important to you than winning the title? Once again, what is one thing important to you than winning the title? Good evening. This time, it is, it is my second time joining in Miss International Queen Philippines. I am a proud repeater. One thing important for me, aside from winning the crown, is that to champion my advocacy, which is fighting against hunger, especially for those malnourished children. Because I am not here, not for only the crown, but not only to win, to walk and talk, but to deliver a song. A true queen is not only for having having a crown, but a good impact to her community. Tonight, I am ready to be the queen of Calabar Song. Thank you. Wow, what a very powerful answer. That's Miss Bolivia for you. Let's have our next finalist for tonight. Sophia. She is from Kalayan. People from Kalayan, are you here? There you are, guys. Good evening. And do you have any words for, for your fans that are over there waving hello? Thank you, everyone, for being here, even though it's actually far from our province. And I would also like to use this opportunity to thank every one of you for taking time and effort to go here at Thunderbird Resort and witness the first ever Miss International Queen Calabar Song. Are you ready for your question? Yes. You may now pick it. Take the ball. Your question for tonight is, if you were given a chance, what will you choose? Fame? or money. Once again, if you were given a chance, what will you choose? Fame or money? We might have different perceptions about this question, but for me, fame is something that fades in the future. But money is something that you can use for you to be able to make a project that can be beneficial for your community. And with that, with that thing that you do to your community, you could be famous and your fame will never fade because you will live a legacy in this world. After all, people will remember you for what you have done something good for humanity. And with that, you will make a history. Thank you. Thank you so much. 